Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, and we just killed a tomato hornworm. Our first one. I know there's more. <laughs> See all this? More here, so I think I have to look. Oh my gosh. That thing is so crazy looking. That's our first tomato hornworm. <laughs> Did you touch it? No. Does it feel weird? Oh, you didn't touch Here. it. No, I don't want to. Look, there's another one. We just found another one. Holy cow. They're kind of, I mean, they're kind of cute, but we just cannot. It's, it's just like decimating the plant. That's crazy. We actually were literally just like laying in bed talking about them this morning. We've never had them on our plants before, but somebody on one of our gardening groups on Facebook had one. And so we were talking about it and then we come out here and Jose's like, oh my God, I found one. So now we found two on the same tomato plant. This morning I came out here a little bit early and I forgot to bring the camera, but what I did was I came out and saw that my cucumber, my Armenian cucumber plant was like sprawling all down here. And it was starting to cover all my little marigolds. Um, so it was kind of just sprawling out instead of climbing. So I took all the little sprawlers and uh, wove them back through the fence or the, the trellis on both sides. And hopefully that'll help. Hopefully now they'll all start growing up, but it was sending off these like side shoots that were coming out and I wanted to fix that. So I came out and did that one. earlier. Is that another one? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh, you <laughs> that is so crazy looking. We found more. Another one where? This, no, these ones. This is four and five right here. Holy cow. I'm gonna go inside and get my little sniffers and a bowl and I'm gonna harvest some nasturtiums for salad today, as well as some kale. So I got a bunch of nasturtiums and as you can see, we still have a ton of nasturtiums left on here. So we have plenty to harvest from. And if you haven't had nasturtiums before, they're kind of spicy. They have um, a taste reminiscent of horseradish. They're super good in salads. They have a really nice flavor and kick it up a notch quite a bit. I went ahead and pruned my squash plant. Um, this is a globe squash or round zucchini. So I pruned just some dead leaves back there off. And look! Our little babies. There's another one in there. This one right here, I hand pollinated yesterday morning. So I just took the male flower and inserted it in the female flower and did some hand pollination just to make sure we get that zucchini. Now I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some kale for our salad today. What I actually decided to do was to go ahead and harvest some of the whole plants. That kale patch has been there for quite a while. So I went ahead and took out some of the taller plants. We'll give the smaller ones a chance to grow in. And then by the end of the season, I'll have pulled all those out and plant something else there. So you can see, I took the, the whole plant off. I cut it down close to the soil and then kept the tops. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Good morning. <laughs> so we've been having some crazy storms, um, lightning and wind. And when I came out yesterday, this plant was completely blown over and I had to fix it. And when I fixed it, I knocked the flower off of that little guy. 
I had already hand pollinated it, so I'm hoping he'll still grow. We'll see. My first nasturtium flower. The cow peas are definitely blooming. So hopefully we'll see some pods here soon. And the ants love these. I am definitely battling caterpillars. So you can see right here, I noticed there was some poop there and right in there is the caterpillar. Normally, I've been catching them really teeny tiny. That one's a little bit bigger, so I'll pull him off. Um, but I do come out here daily and check and pull all the little caterpillars off and squish them. I think I just found what's gonna be my first little cucumber baby right here. See that little guy? You can see here the kale patch is winding down. I did cut a bunch of these off um, the other day. So there's only, you know, six plants left. We'll finish those off here soon. That'll come out and I'll get that bed ready for something else um, to be put in there. Yesterday I came out to check the amaranth and they were all like totally bent over. So I did have to come out here and tie everything up. They are super tall right now and top heavy. So you can see they look kind of crazy because they're all tied up and they still want to lean over. But I'm just trying to save them <laughs> until they're ready to harvest. These ones are starting to be ready. Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday, and uh, take a look at this green stock. Look at how full it is. Dozy. What's you doing, bud? Doz. Ignoring me. <laughs> Look at the progress on that little guy. I'm so excited. I don't know what's going on with that one. I don't know if that one's gonna develop or not. We'll see. I hand pollinated it as well. And there's my nasturtium flower, the first one. And here's another one coming through. The sweet potatoes are going crazy. They're looking really good. Those are Christmas lima beans, um, and they've started to grow up and out of the trellis. So I've pulled them back down. This one grew back down, and it's now grown back up. <laughs> Trying to utilize as much of the trellis as possible. The pink eye purple hole cowpea has a lot of blooms on it right now. No. I don't know if these turn into the pods. It's my first time growing it. Kind of looks like it, but I'm just not sure. <laughs> but they're gorgeous blooms. Jose installed some drip irrigation in here. 
in both of the beds and the corner bed actually. We haven't staked anything down. We're just kind of testing it out. These are all marigolds. It's pretty cool. Less hand watering for us. <laughs> all in all, the garden's doing pretty good. Um, some stuff is winding down. I also did plant some new stuff back here. I actually pulled out some echinacea and planted some, I believe they're purple hyacinth beans, just to see if we could get some more production before the end of the summer. And then in here, I did like interplant some Malabar spinach, some red Malabar spinach, see if we could get um, some greens out of there as well. So to utilize some unused space. And then in the OG bed, I planted a few burgundy okra. We are gonna have a lot of transplanting, probably today, maybe tomorrow. All kinds of herbs and tomatoes, a couple eggplant. It's been super hot um, in the 90s, feels like the hundreds. So I'm gonna go ahead and water the green stalk. I've been doing it every day um, from the top slow drip system. And you can see the water's dripping down all the way through to the bottom. It's a really great slow drip watering system. So the frog flipped over like on his back <laughs> and I was concerned that like I had killed it or something. I didn't even touch it. I think it was playing dead because now it's flipped back over and it's moving, but I'm gonna check on it. <laughs> What's up YouTube? It's Friday. Um, we're at the weekend, yeah. So to wrap this video up, I just wanted to show you guys a few things that have changed in the gardens and a few fun, exciting things that we've got going on right now. The first is a super awesome gift from my staff. Uh, my birthday was this last weekend on Sunday and they sent me a surprise. It's a really cool like kneeler. It can be a kneeler in the garden. It's also a seat. It's got um, two of these storage pockets, one on each side. So I'm super excited about it. Super thankful and grateful to them for that surprise. Um, it was something I wasn't expecting and they put a lot of thought into it and I think that's really awesome. Also, it's really early so I still have my Invisalign in so I might sound a little weird. I had it in yesterday as well and I noticed it on the video. <laughs> so you can probably see my trays. <laughs> um, I'm actually supposed to be wearing my retainers at night but I'm really bad about it so I have to wear my trays sometimes still. <laughs> Figured I'd give you guys just a quick update on the OG bed. As you can see, it's pretty sparse right now. Um, other than this back area on the trellises, that's all the Armenian cucumbers and then one cow pea, which you guys have seen a lot of. And then this is a little echinacea, got some marigolds I sprinkled in here, and then my zinnias. Um, we pulled all the pepper plants out yesterday. They are pretty riddled with aphids. We've been trying to fight those for a long time and the production has really slowed down. So we went ahead and pulled those out. I do have more pepper plants in the green stock. Um, and I think what I'm going to do with this bed is I'm going to just put a bunch more cow peas down in here um, to pull some nitrogen into the soil and get it ready for our fall planting. The only other quick thing I wanted to show you guys is I did rearrange the green stock. We had a ton of crazy weather yesterday. Um, so we took this apart, brought it inside. It's the first time I've had to do that, but it was super, super windy. Um, and I didn't want the plants to get messed up. So I did switch around 
the arrangement I put the nasturtiums down below um, they will shade the zucchini a little bit but that's okay this guy is getting big so that's super exciting and I have another little baby right there um, so I've got the zucchini the nasturtiums these are some new nasturtiums some tomatoes I move the baby tomato and pepper plants up and I move the more established pepper plants down since they can get plenty of sun down here still and if I were to have any trouble with the plant arrangement that I have, I can just take it apart and restack it again. No big deal. One more thing I want to share before we wrap up this video. We're going to go inside. Dozy. Say hi, bud. Say hi. <laughs> we got our sub pod. Super ex Our sub pod. I thought said sub pod. <laughs> This is only the plastic housing. We're still waiting on the, the um, like galvanized metal container. But super exciting. We waited several months for this. And now it's here, Dozer. Dozy. What you doing, bud? You're so famous. You're always on the video now. Hey, don't eat the box. Breathe. All right, so that wraps up another week with us. Um, we've got a couple fun things coming up this weekend that we'll share with you guys. If you haven't checked out the Sweet Potato Build vid video, um, definitely check that one out. But until next time, like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for joining us.